you just started spray painting, you probably realized that you can really only get one day's use out of a particular spray cap. But I have a solution to your problem. I have three methods where you can clean and reuse your spray caps. This will save you a lot of money. The first method is using acetone and a glass jar. Make sure it's glass, not plastic. If you use a plastic jar, the acetone might actually eat the plastic in a very short time, so please be careful of that. Also be sure to wear acetone resistant gloves if you are going to be using acetone whatsoever. So first, you're going to want to pour the acetone into the jar. Make sure you have a decent amount so the caps can be completely covered. I'll just do the bottom portion here. I'm running low on acetone. It's okay, I have another container. So I have some caps that I actually just used yesterday. So they're fairly fresh. Freshly used paint caps are actually easier to clean. So be sure to clean them fairly soon after you finish painting uh, because that will definitely help this process. So I'm gonna drop three of these right directly into the acetone. You could use one of those little tea ball things and put the cap in there and swirl it around, but I don't have one of those things right now. Um, if I do, it's at home and I use it for tea. So I'd rather not have my tea taste like acetone. Anyway, so I have a spoon. And you can actually see the paint. The paint is actually coming off of the caps already. So the best method is to actually wait for about five minutes. So I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes and then we're gonna see what the caps look like and see if they actually spray. While we wait for those caps to release the paint, um, I'm going to tell you my two other methods. This is another one, kind of obvious, but I figured I'd let you know um, just in case you are new to this. Spray acetone. This stuff is amazing. It is made by uh, the Montana company, the German Montana company. I actually find my spray acetone online and I'm sure you'll be able to as well. Um, sometimes you can find it on Amazon. Otherwise you can go to blick.com and they will have it as well. They run for about $9 a piece, so they're a little bit expensive. My next method will be slightly less expensive and work wonders, and you won't need to order it online. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, I would really appreciate it. Also click that like button if you're enjoying this video at all, and share it with your friends. I like to share all of my knowledge with you so that you can skip all of the trial and error that I had to go through when I taught myself how to spray paint. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. So the spray acetone is wonderful. I probably should wear a mask right now, so be sure to wear a mask if you're using a lot of acetone. You don't want to inhale all of these chemicals. So I have a partially used cap here, and I'm going to clear it out. Super simple, with just a couple sprays, you're able to clear that out. I usually take a paper towel to uh, clear off the tip as well. So here I'm clearing, clearing this off. Sometimes I spray into a paper towel, and then I wipe, so you can see I'm getting all the paint off of the surface of it and from within the spray cap. So you can actually use this cap as it's a fresh cap again. Uh, so I know that the caps themselves are typically fairly cheap, but if you're using a lot of caps and you're using like 30 to 40 cans a day, all that adds up. The price of caps really adds up if you're using them a lot. So this is a great way to save money. So that's another method. Before I get to my third method, I'm going to see how the caps in the first one went. So I'm going to fish them out with the spoon and I'm going to wipe them off with a paper towel. You should really wear gloves while you do this, but I'm not right now. Sorry. Do what I say, not what I do. These caps look super clean. They almost look brand new. So it looks like the first method really worked. All these caps look super clean. They look very fresh, very new, and I believe that they will spray pretty well. All right, let's see if uh, these things will spray. Don't forget to shake your can first also, so I'm gonna do that now. If you want to know the correct way to shake a can, you can watch the video right here. All right, so I'm testing out one cap here. I'm gonna do the skinny cap since I have like thousands of these. I wanna save the others, but look, uh, it, it is perfect. Just like a fresh cap. All right, back to the video. Now for my third method. So I went to Lowe's one day just to see if they had any spray acetone on hand. During COVID, it was really hard for me to find any spray acetone online. 
And I was very frustrated as I didn't really want to dip all of my caps individually into the acetone like I did in the first method. So what I stumbled across was this. This is Spray Goof Off and it has acetone in it. And I find that it is a fantastic method for cleaning my caps. I'll give you a short demonstration. It's just like using spray acetone. All right, we have a fresh cap now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like button for me and also click subscribe and that notification bell so you can't miss my next video. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, as always, remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace.